Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to my first vlog of 2022. Yes, so as I just said, this is going to be my first weekly vlog of 2022. Well, my first official vlog full stop of 2022. Um, I thought I would get into the swing of things as early as possible because as I said, I wanted to do a lot more vlogs this year because personally vlogs are my favorite videos to watch. So if they're my favorite videos to watch, then why not create them as well? Um, to be honest, I just like to be nosy and see what people get up to. So if you are like me and like to be nosy as well, then I thought I would give you an opportunity to be nosy into my life. Um, not that there's a lot going on, I can't lie. Um, but I thought I would vlog this week because there's a few like random things going on which I thought would be good to include in a vlog. Um, so it's currently Monday the 10th of January. I am working from home, so there really is not a lot going on. It's a very typical, boring January Monday. Um, Mondays are quite busy at work for me because we have like a big reporting day. So it usually takes up pretty much the majority of the day. Um, and then the afternoon I just kind of get through emails that have come through over the weekend. So yeah, not really a lot going on in the work front. But nevertheless, I still wanted to start my vlog today because I just thought if I start today, it sets me off right for the week. And then like through the week, there's a few things going on, which I thought I would include in this video. Yesterday was actually obviously Sunday and I did a massive shoot day for my Instagram because I really want to get like on it with my content and like build loads of outfits, get them shot, plan my feed because I hate when I get to the point of like shooting day by day and posting day by day because there's just no planning, it doesn't look good. Like I'm not saying my feed, my theme or my feed look like anything special but I like to think that I've put a bit of thought behind it but when I get to the point where I'm just shooting day by day Sorry if you can hear that, it's a lorry going past. Um, it just stresses me out a little bit. So I'm trying to stay on it. I feel like I'm setting the tone right for the year. So hopefully I can stay on it. It also means that I've got like a good amount of time of content planned. So I'm then not stressed and worrying about having to make uh, more content. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I did yesterday. Today, as I said, I'm just working. I do actually need to go to the post office, um, but whether I'm gonna go today I'm not really sure because it's actually about two o'clock now, I think, um, or getting near to two o'clock. Um, so yeah, I don't really know if I'm gonna go there today. I might have to go there tomorrow. But that is all that's really gone on so far. The kind of plan for this video and sort of the plan for the week, I guess to kind of tell you guys what's gonna be included. Um, it's actually Oreo's birthday this week. Um, so for anyone that doesn't know, Oreo is our pet rabbit. Um, and he's gonna be two years old on Wednesday, but I am actually going back to London like a Wednesday evening and my mum works away a couple nights and she's going Wednesday morning. So like any other member of the family would, we're having <laughs> a little birthday party for Oreo and we're having it on Tuesday. So I will probably vlog that because why not? Yes, we are a little bit crazy but he is part of this family and we would do it for anyone else. So we're doing it for him. He's got like a cake, he's got presents. We will make food, like it is a full blown birthday celebration. So yeah, I will include that because I feel like not many people do that. So it's probably quite interesting to see that we do do that. Um, and then yeah, like I said, I'm going back to London on Wednesday. So I will include that. And then yeah, I've got some things going on in London. I know I've had a ton of parcels delivered and my concierge probably hate me because their post room is probably full of all my parcels. So I'll probably do a little unboxing of those on like a haul of some things that I know that I've ordered. Um, and then yeah, show you guys any PR that's come while I've not been there. And then at the weekend, I am basically catching up with some friends. Don't think we're doing anything too crazy. I think we're just gonna go for like dinner at one of our friends' houses and then maybe go out for a couple of drinks afterwards. I mean, I'm trying not to drink as much in Jan, he says, but he's pretty much drank the whole of Jan so far. Um, but yeah, so I'm trying not to get like drunk, but you know, who knows what will happen. So I will probably include that as well. So that's kind of an overview of the week. Like I said, it's a bit of a random week, but I thought I'd vlog it anyway. Might be interesting, might not be interesting, but either way, I'm gonna put it out for you guys to see. But what I did wanna show you today is that I've actually changed around my room. So if you've been on my channel for a while, you may have seen that I did a room tour of my family, like my room in my family home. Um, and I actually changed it around on Saturday just because well, I'm starting to film a lot more like reels content. I needed like a backdrop and a bit of a space to do that. So I've rearranged my room to hopefully help with that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the, the door, which is over there, and 
I'll show you guys quickly, not a full room tour, but I'm just going to quickly show you the room and then like tell you the bits that I've changed. But if you didn't see that room tour that I did back on my channel, I will leave it in the top line of the description box so you guys can watch that if you want to watch it. But I mean, I'm going to show you what it looks like now anyway, so you don't really need to see the old one, but it might make a bit more sense as to what I've changed if you do watch that. But anyway, I'm going to go to the door and I'm going to quickly show you what I've done. Okay, so this is basically the view now when you come in to the room. Please excuse all of that mess on the floor. That is still stuff that needs to go basically into this cupboard here, which is like a storage cupboard that I have in my room. The hairdryer I used this morning and the air freshener was plugged in where the hairdryer is now plugged in. Um, so yeah, that obviously doesn't live there and won't live there, but I just haven't got around to putting it away, can't lie. But essentially this is how my room looks now. If you did watch the old video, then you may notice that some things have changed. The main one being that my bed used to actually be on that side where that wall is there. Um, that ladder that is now in that corner actually used to sit here next to my wardrobe, which is now my desk area. And then I've got my fitted wardrobe there. And then basically I have this big blank wall here, which is what I'm saying I will, oh, don't know why it's done that. Which is hopefully what I will use as like the backdrop to my reels. So yeah, that is what I've changed in the room. I mean, like I said, unless you watch that video, you probably won't actually notice that anything's changed, but I thought I would just quickly guys give you an update because that is what I basically did this weekend as well as shoot a load of content. So yeah random hopefully interesting room update um obviously i don't live here so i'm not in this room all the time but when i am here it's a good space to have set up to be able to shoot content and i actually want to start doing more styling hauls on my youtube channel so what i'm thinking is basically that empty wall that i have there i was thinking to get like a chest of drawers so i had more storage but now what i'm actually thinking is i will keep it empty like that by a rail and then i'll be able to use that setup to film like styling videos or like yeah hauls for you guys because it just looks a bit nice when everything's hung on a rail and i can stand next to it so because there's a big space there i'm thinking that is what i could use that for but like i said i haven't decided yet and i haven't obviously bought anything for it it's currently just full of all the mess that you just saw so yeah that's basically the beginning of this video hope that was an interesting update but <laughs> there will be more to come but for now i'm going to carry on working and i will speak to you guys soon and just like that it is tuesday um, honestly, I feel like I blinked and Monday disappeared. I had a lot of meetings, a lot of work to do, and as soon as all of that was over, and by the time I actually finished working, it was literally six o'clock, which meant I basically had dinner, watched a bit of TV, and went straight to bed. I was exhausted. Um, so yeah, that's why I didn't pick up the camera, and that's why the vlog is now continuing on Tuesday morning. One thing I did do last night actually was watch Sid's new documentary. Um, for anyone that doesn't know, Sydney May Crouch on YouTube, she's an influencer and a YouTuber, basically is doing a documentary on her mum's experience with drugs um, and kind of the story behind that, which has been, it was actually a really good first episode. Um, it's very interesting and I think there's a power behind it in the sense of people see influencers as these amazing people with lots of privilege and etc. But we sometimes forget that they are actually real people and they go through real experiences and life isn't always great and easy. So I think this is really good for shedding a light on that. So yeah, I'm enjoying it. I've enjoyed the first part. I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of the documentary and seeing sort of the story that her mum went through. But yeah, if you guys want to check that out, I will leave it linked down below. Um, it was quite interesting to watch, it's quite a digestible, like, I think it's like 15 minutes, so it wasn't long at all. But, um, yes, that was my Monday, it's now Tuesday, and to be honest, it is about quarter to three on Tuesday, so, again, I'm not really done a lot today because I haven't filmed anything, I've literally just been working. So I'm currently on a lunch break, a very late lunch break, because we had a lot to do today. So I thought it'd be the perfect opportunity to pick up the camera and update you guys. So yeah, I was actually going to take my parcel back in this time. Um, I mentioned yesterday that I had a parcel to return and I said that I would do it today. But a bit of a story time for you all. My car has actually been hit into this morning. The short version of the story is a man came to fix my mum's tire. She had like a slow puncture. And obviously we can normally fix tires, but basically my mum has a company car, which means that anything that goes wrong with that car, they have a specific company that they send out to like repair anything. So he came from that company. 
He basically thought that my next door neighbor's car was my mum's car, so tried to line up his van next to the car so that he could fix the tire. In doing so, he reversed quite badly into the side of my car and sliced the door open, dented it and took the paint off. So yeah, the car is now damaged. So I'm basically not driving it just because we need to call the insurance and take pictures and all of that and I don't want to drive it or make it worse or anything like that. So the parcel is not being returned today. Today's goal is to actually ring the insurance and see what we can do about that. But yeah, so that is the real, talking about keeping things real, that is the reality of it. So yeah, that was my Tuesday morning and the rest of my Tuesday to be honest. Um, this evening though it is Aurea's birthday party. I did mention at the beginning of this vlog that he turns two this week. So he actually turns two tomorrow. But I'm going back to London tomorrow and my mum is also working away which means that we're doing a little birthday party for him today. I know it sounds a bit crazy, but we are a bit crazy in this family. And to be honest, like we celebrate him like any other member of the family. He's almost basically the baby of this family. So my sister has bought decorations. We have like got him a present, we've got him a cake and we'll make some food, like some buffet food, just as like a little like party. Obviously he, he kind of does have an idea what's going on. He's a very well-trained, well-kept, house rabbit um and some of you i know watching this will be like what the hell like this sounds ridiculous but he actually is very well trained and i think with any animal like if you train them like people always just think the dogs are, like the well-trained animals and they listen to you and respond to their name but like i feel like pretty much any animal can do that as long as you train them right so oreo like he knows what his name is he knows who we are he responds um and he's a house rabbit so he sits around the house he has like a little spot on the sofa he has his routine, like he knows what time his carrot, um, he has his carrot. So like when we open the fridge at that time, he will come running over and he'll know that like that's his carrot time. It sounds stupid, but yeah. So it is his birth, it is his birthday party tonight. So I will vlog a bit of that for you, but that's pretty much the Tuesday plans. There's not really anything else exciting other than that happening. But as I said, tomorrow I'm heading back to London. So I am working in the morning, getting my train in the evening. So I'll vlog a little bit of that. It won't be too interesting. But when we get back to London, we have a lot going on. I've got a few meetings in London with work, so I'll try and vlog a bit of those. I have plans to see friends at the weekend, which I will vlog. And then I just have a lot of like general things to do. I need to do a food shop because obviously I haven't been in my flat for weeks now. Um, so I will include that because I always like seeing what people pick up at the supermarket. So I will include that in here for you if you are like me. Um, and yeah, that is the plan for the rest of the week. Sorry this vlog hasn't been so interesting so far and if you're still watching then thank you for staying with me. But hopefully it will get a little bit more interesting. But now I am going to quickly grab something to eat and log back on until 5 o'clock when you'll probably be seeing me next. Okay, so here is the birthday setup. We've got some balloons up there. This is all the food. We've got rabbit shaped sandwiches, little cakes. This is his cake that literally is made for small pets. So that's completely edible for him. And then we've got all this other food. And of course we had to have Oreos for Oreos birthday. So yeah, this is the little birthday setup. We're gonna celebrate his birthday now. He's currently sat over there and yeah. We're going to give him his presents as well. So this is what's going on. everyone happy Wednesday so yes the last thing you would have seen was Oreo's birthday party which actually turned out to be just quite a nice night um, in general obviously regardless that it was his birthday party because I'm obviously going back to London today so it was quite nice we just played some games had some food and yeah it was a very wholesome family night should we say um, 
but yes, it's currently Wednesday now. It's about half ten. I've just had a work call this morning and I've got another one in a minute, so I just thought I would quickly switch on the camera and chat to you guys. I don't have a lot planned today. I'm actually getting a courtesy card delivered today. Um, managed to sort it all out yesterday through the insurance. They were actually really, really helpful and very efficient. So yeah, the courtesy card is being delivered today. I've not heard anything about the repairs yet, but I think it will all be fine. So as long as it is, I will be heading back to London this evening. I think I'm gonna get like a seven o'clock train, um, just because I have an open return ticket so I can get any train that I wanna get back. So yeah, I'll probably wait until the evening to go. And yeah, that is basically the plan. I'm hoping that the courtesy car gets delivered sooner rather than later which if it does, maybe I'll show you guys the car if it's anything of interest. Um, but if not, I'm hoping I can get to the post office to drop that parcel back before I obviously leave. I mean, my parents can drop it back for me if I can't take it today, it's not a problem. But yeah, I don't really wanna leave it for them if I can get it taken myself. So yeah, that is kind of the plan for the day. As I said, I've got another work call in a minute, but I just wanted to switch you guys on and give you all a little update. And I'll probably speak to you later when the car has hopefully arrived and I'm going to the post office. Okay, so it's a lot later now since we last spoke this morning. It's obviously still Wednesday. I feel like every time I switch this on, it's another day gone past. It's still Wednesday. Um, I've just got ready to basically catch my train back to London. I'm just wearing this tracksuit, which is from the Miss Joslyn and Joseph Lynch collection with Girl Knows All got my luggage down there this is my new bag that I got for Christmas which is from end and then I've just got my super dry tote which has all that my work stuff in um, and then I've got my coat ready so yeah my train is at seven so it takes about well I'm gonna leave about half an hour before just so we can drive to the station I can get to the platform and kind of be ready for when the train comes in so yeah that is basically the plan for the evening again not the most exciting day pretty much just been working from home this is the reality of my weeks that's all i do really <laughs> is work from home but tomorrow i have a meeting like a physical meeting in london so i'll vlog a little bit of that for you guys um and yeah that is basically it as i said i want to do a food shop and things like that which don't sound that exciting but i enjoy seeing in vlogs so i'm going to include them in this video and yeah then a weekend hopefully which will be a little bit more exciting seeing some friends so yeah that is the plan for the evening mission head back to london and get ready for some meetings tomorrow but also quickly for anyone that is thinking that that is quite a minimal amount of stuff that i've packed into those bags for having been at home since before christmas i actually did a trip with my parents in the car and took like all of my stuff like all of the things that i got for christmas back already so my flat is actually already set up we like put fresh sheets on the bed and everything so it's all ready to go when i get back this is just stuff that I kept, obviously, that I needed here with me. So it's only a few bits of clothes, toiletries and things like that. Hence why the bag is so small, because anyone that knows me well will know that I cannot pack light. So if you were impressed by the fact that I was living out of that one bag for so long, I hate to break it to you, but I definitely haven't. I've been living out of it for like a week and even that's been a struggle. So yes, it's time to now go to the train station and catch my train back to London. Okay, so I'm at the train station now. It's my first time vlogging in public with this camera, so I'm being quiet because I don't want to draw attention and it's making me nervous. But it's currently about seven o'clock. My train comes at 10 past seven. So yeah, the plan is to just head back to London. I'm currently stuck with all my stuff. And yeah, time to head back to London. Okay, so I am back. I got myself a subway and we are officially in London. Just in the lift up to my building. Can't wait to put everything down. This bag is literally falling off my arm and yeah. Good morning everyone. It is currently Thursday. I think the last thing you would have seen is me coming back into the building yesterday with my subway, which was delicious. It was currently, well, was not currently. It was about nine o'clock when I got back. So I ordered the food in perfect timing for me arriving back at the house. So I literally got in, ate that on packs and caught up with Alicia and then went straight to bed. So not a lot to vlog, hence why you're now seeing me from Thursday morning. But as I already mentioned in this vlog today, I actually have a work meeting this morning. So I am heading to that now. It's currently about half eight. 
So yeah, I need to leave in about five minutes to make it there on time for that. So I just thought I would switch you guys on before I head there. I'm obviously not gonna take my camera with me because it is a work meeting, so having my camera, just not a vibe. But if I do get the chance to film any clips, I will just film them on my phone. But the plan after the meeting is actually just to come home and work because obviously we're still working from home. So there isn't any need for me to be in the office yet because no one else is in either. So it's time to head to my meeting and then I will probably speak to you next when I am back. Okay, so I am back from my meeting. I've been working pretty much all day since I got back and I just went on my lunch break, which I used to go food shopping because I basically had nothing in. Obviously you would have seen that I got back from London last night. So yeah, I had nothing in, um, so I needed to get some lunch. And I thought while I was out, I would pick up some bits. So I went to Lidl, um, which I didn't get everything from because I don't like to get everything from there, but it's quite good to get like bits that are expensive in Sainsbury's to get them a bit cheaper. So I thought I would quickly show you guys what I picked up. So I'm, I'm trying to eat a little bit cleaner. I'm not going on like a full on diet and like cutting loads of stuff out, but I'm just trying to eat cleaner, watch my calories a bit more. And then while I'm exercising to kind of balance that out to hopefully get in better shape. So I picked up some salmon. I've got two different packs here. I just got some plain salmon, which I'll probably season myself. And then I got some chili and ginger marinated fillets. Um, they're a really good price in Lidl, um, so that's why I like to get them from there. Then I also got some eggs because I go through eggs like there's no tomorrow because they're just a great breakfast, I think. Also got some Actimel so I can start having those in the morning, um, just the strawberry flavours. And then I picked up some mini cucumbers, some avocados, some broccoli, and I picked up two packets of this, like, Mediterranean vegetable um, stuff, just because again, a really quick and easy dinner on days when I'm like a little bit busier in the day and don't really have much time to cook in the evenings. Also got a little stir fry sauce because I quite like having these in rice. So like having a piece of salmon, some rice with this mixed in and then like some broccoli on the side, which I think is what I'm gonna have tonight. And then just got some oranges, some easy peel ones. Um, some mango chunks and then like I said I'm not being like super healthy but I'm trying to just eat better um so there are some things in here that obviously aren't the healthiest so I got this triple chocolate crisp which basically I got because in the evening sometimes you crave something sweet so rather than having like chocolate I thought this was like a slightly better option I mean I might be completely wrong there but that was my thought process behind it and like sometimes in the day rather than having a big lunch I'd rather just have something small than a snack so I thought I would have those. I mean, yeah, again, everything's like red on the front, so it's not the best, but I thought it was a good option just to have in as well. Like if I ever just fancy something, then it's there. And then I treated myself to some Kinder, I don't even know how you say these, bombs, Choco bombs, because Easter chocolate is my favorite chocolate. I love cream eggs, I love mini eggs. I love those from Kinder. So yeah, I had to get some of those, which as you can see, I've already tucked into and eaten about six off um but i'm trying to have control so i stopped myself and then the final thing that i picked up was just some pepsi max cherry because i cannot live without a pepsi max it is an essential for me so yeah i just picked up those and that was my basically mini food shop obviously this will keep me going pretty much until like sunday and then on Sunday, I'll probably do like a bigger food shop, go to Sainsbury's and like stock up on other things. This was just essentials for now that I obviously need for dinner tonight. And yeah, so I just thought I would quickly switch this on and update you guys. Obviously I went to my breakfast meeting this morning. I had X Royale, which I can insert a picture of here. And yeah, it was really nice. I went to the Brasserie of Light, had a great meeting and then headed back here, which is now where I've just been working. And yeah, obviously just in a food shop. And then the plan for this evening, I'm hoping to go to the gym. Um, I obviously finished work at five and the gym's in my building, so it means I don't have to go anywhere. So I'm gonna make the most of that and hopefully go to the gym. 
which I probably won't film because I'm definitely not an expert in the gym and me working out isn't pretty for anyone to see. So I will not include that in this, but yeah, I might show you guys my dinner. Like I said, I'll probably have salmon, rice and broccoli. So if you guys want to see that, I will include that as well. And that's kind of it. Very chilled evening ahead, not really too much going on. But yeah, I just thought I would update you all. So I will speak to you guys in a bit. Good morning, happy Friday. So yesterday, I can't lie, I did not pick up the camera in the evening. I basically finished working, went straight to the gym at five, which is when I finished. Had a gym workout for an hour and then came back, watched some, what was I watching last night? Oh, I watched the new Hype House documentary because um, I've seen a few people talking about it and a few of my friends have watched it, which is actually on Netflix if you guys haven't seen it. Um, to be honest, I'm not really sure what I think about it. It's a little bit, I don't know. I find it like it's trying to be a reality TV show rather than a documentary. I mean, like I don't really know what the vibe of it was meant to be in the first place, but I thought it was more of like a documentary about how people make money on social media, like how it all works. But if anything, I think it's more just about like the drama and a bit more of a reality TV show. So I'm not really sure on it. Um, Maybe you guys give it a watch and give me your thoughts. Um, I guess when I've watched a bit more, then maybe I'll be able to make more of a formed opinion. But yeah, right, as of now, not the biggest fan, but I'm probably gonna keep watching it anyway because I'm not really watching anything else at the minute. But it's currently Friday morning and I'm just about to have some breakfast. So I thought I would switch you guys on just before I did. Um, so I basically got my water bottle, which is my new bottle that I'm loving. Um, it's obviously got all the timings on it. I'm a little bit behind, but I will catch up straight as soon as I put this camera down. Um, and for breakfast today, I'm just having some mango. I actually had this for like a dessert last night. So I've got a little bit of it left. So I'm gonna have that. And then I actually picked up some Axmels as you would have seen in my little food haul. So I'm just gonna have one strawberry Axmel this morning. And yeah, that's basically my breakfast, not having too much. The plan for the rest of today is basically, obviously I'm working from home, so I'm just gonna be working. And then on my lunch break, I need to go to Sainsbury's because there were some bits that I couldn't get from a little yesterday that I wanna get. I also need to go to, actually I was gonna go to Wilco to get like wipes and like some cleaning things for the apartment because we basically ran out. But I think I might be able to pick them up in Sainsbury's, so I might not need to go there, but if I do, then I will be going there. And then, I just need to do general things around the house, like I want to give my room a little bit of a clean. Obviously, where I've not been here, it's got a little bit dusty, so I want to do that. And then all the good stuff, like putting on a load of washing and yeah, all of that boring stuff, which you guys probably don't even want to see. But I mean, if you guys find that content interesting, then let me know and I can include it in future vlogs. I do also have a new coffee machine that I picked up on Black Friday, which I have bought. I did buy it for the apartment and I've brought it up here but I haven't actually set it up yet. It's currently still in the box and it's actually in the box that you guys are propped up on but I can quickly show you guys here. So it is this Tassimo coffee machine. Sorry, the lighting's really crap because of the sun. But yeah, it's this Tassimo coffee machine and it came from Lidl actually, um, but like the one back home. It was down like the special buys aisle if that's what you call it i can't really remember if that's audi but yeah it's just this one and it gets like all of these you can see on top here that like, you can get all of these pods for it um to be honest like these ones didn't really interest me but like the milka the oreo and the cadbury's ones are what like attracted me to it and i think i've seen a few people on instagram that already have this like i think it's super super simple to use i think it's just you literally pop the pod in and it runs the water through the pods um so maybe I'll set this up, but to be honest, I'm not really sure where it's gonna go because this is our island counter, which obviously if you've watched my apartment tour, you would have seen. So our microwave currently lives there and then like this is like a food preparation space. Um, the box has been living there basically, but I don't think I'm gonna pop the coffee machine there just because the plugs on the island are literally on that side. So as you can see that little cable there, we have to run all the cables down there to plug things in. So I feel like the coffee machine won't actually reach the socket if I put it there. So then we have this little station here, which is like got the LSE kettle, the LSE toaster, and like our tea and coffee bits. But to be honest, we don't really drink, like Alicia doesn't drink tea and coffee. Like she doesn't really drink hot drinks. It's mainly me. So that, that is for 
like my basically my little station so what i'm thinking is if i set up the coffee machine i'm probably realistically not going to be using too much of this coffee i tend to use it more in the summer because i actually have these coffee syrups which i use um in like iced coffees and they just live in this cupboard here so i have like four different flavors hazelnut i've got toffee caramel and vanilla so that's what i would probably use that coffee that's in there for so I'm thinking maybe I put these little, like, whatever you call these, containers into one of these cupboards and then I can put the coffee machine potentially in, like, the corner, put the kettle next to it. And then, to be honest, the toaster, again, doesn't really get used, especially now because we're trying to both eat a lot cleaner and a lot healthier. Um, it's not really getting the most use, so I don't know whether I should, like, clean that out pop it into like one of the cupboards and then as and when we need to use it or want to use it we can get it out and then the coffee machine can live here but to be honest I haven't really decided and yeah I guess I need to ask Alicia's opinion um but that's what I'm thinking and then yeah so obviously it's a bit annoying because we have this space here which is like next to the sink but we don't really keep anything here because a everything gets soaked from the sink and b there's no sockets here, like this whole side doesn't have sockets on it, like from this whole side. So the only sockets are here and we have like eight sockets here. So everything that gets plugged in pretty much needs to be plugged in here. Um, my only other thought was that I could maybe trail the kettle cable over to there or the toaster. Essentially I could trail the toaster actually because it's got quite a long cable at the back which we've kept tied up. So I don't know, I'm going to play with this on my lunch break as well. Obviously only an hour so I'm planning to do a lot within that hour. I will try and film bits if I do change anything around but yeah that is basically the plan for today. Um, and yeah the weather is actually really nice today. Well I say it's really nice, it's sunny and the sun is shining so the light is really nice in here. Um, and it looks pretty from inside here, but I'm guessing when I go out later on my break, it's gonna be freezing. So um, yeah, don't be deceived by the sun as I normally am. So that is basically Friday. This evening, not really got a lot planned either. Probably just gonna have a chilled one. I do wanna try and go to the gym again today. I'm not really putting a lot of pressure on myself to go to the gym like on a routine, but I've said to myself, I wanna at least go like three or four times a week. And obviously I came back to London on Wednesday so realistically between Wednesday and Sunday I'm thinking I can do at least two sessions if not three um so yeah trying to get another one in tonight and then yeah probably just chill this evening still on it with like the cleaner eating so probably make some salmon uh, again today because I just freaking love salmon like I could probably eat it every day like last night I had salmon rice um and broccoli and normally I mix the rice with like teriyaki sauce which I get from Sainsbury's but because I went to Lidl I bought like a black bean sauce and to be honest it was not nice like I just didn't really enjoy it I've kept it in the fridge because I might use it for something else like if I actually make like a stir fry or I like get some chicken then I might use it but for the rice and like how I make that meal it just wasn't a vibe so I'm gonna get some more teriyaki sauce today from Sainsbury's and yeah that is basically what I'm gonna be doing today um, and that's it. So I'm going to eat my breakfast now because I can't lie, I'm starving. And then I've got a lot to do at work. So I'm going to crack on with getting all of my work done. And then, yeah, I will catch up with you guys later. Okay, so you would have just seen, I have been to Sainsbury's, it's officially my lunch break. So I went and grabbed the bits I needed to get. Who knew that an hour actually goes so fast? To be fair, I didn't leave it an hour. I left at 20 past one and it's now 10 to two. So technically half an hour, but um, I actually have a call at two, so I can't take the full hour, which means I won't be able to set up the coffee machine, but it's fine, that can be a job for another day. And I actually forgot to get the coffee pods anyway, so there's no rush to set it up. Um, I also have a voucher on the box for, like, I think it's money off the coffee pods. So I think I might just order some anyway, um, rather than getting them from Sainsbury's, because I feel like they'll probably only have a limited selection. But I thought I would quickly show you guys what I actually picked up from Sainsbury's. Like I said, I was like seeing food hauls and what people buy, so I thought I would include one here. Um, so I got some hula hoof, hula hoof, hula hoop puffs. 
um, and they're actually 72 calories like per pack so I thought it was quite a good way to control the calories that I'm eating. I just want to say as well obviously I'm not a diet expert or a nutrition expert um, and I'm also not like dieting I'm just trying to eat cleaner and be a bit more careful and conscious about what I'm eating but yes I'm still going to be eating crisps as you would have seen I got some chocolates from Lidl yesterday so yeah I'm not cutting everything out completely I just want to eat a little bit cleaner and obviously exercise which I haven't really been doing so then I'll be living a bit more of like a balanced lifestyle but yeah obviously I'm not an expert don't take my word for everything I obviously don't have the knowledge that someone who's trained it would but yeah anyway back to the haul got some super absorbent kitchen roll and it actually comes in paper packaging which I thought was cool because I'm guessing obviously it's recyclable um so yeah that was just from Sainsbury's who knew kitchen roll was actually so expensive like that was the cheapest one and that was two pound like, I literally thought kitchen roll was like 90p but I guess if you want sustainable kitchen roll you gotta pay the price which I'm happy to pay if it means we're looking after the planet I then got some protein bagels. To be honest, I'm not actually a big fan of the protein bagels. I just like the normal Warbson's bagels. But where I am trying to be a little bit more conscious, these are 160 calories per bagel. So again, it's just an easier way for me to control what I'm eating um, and kind of track my calories, but I'm not actually tracking them on like an app or anything. So it's kind of just like a mental guide to knowing. So I had my Atma this morning and a bit of mango, and then I've not had anything since then, and I'm gonna make a bit of lunch now so yeah it kind of just keeps me on track a little bit but i'm not fully tracking everything i then got some italian style salad um i basically like lunch is the meal that i struggle with so i basically wanted to get some inspiration for lunch and i've kind of been looking on tiktok because tiktok has so much food inspiration on it i'm definitely on food tiktok for sure um and there's like loads of fitness people that come up and I know you shouldn't really take every piece of advice from everyone you see on the internet and like take it with a pinch of salt but I saw someone has like quite high protein like omelettes for their lunch obviously that would be when I'm at home and then like when I'm going to work um, these things like these bagels which are quite controlled calories make a quite a good lunch so I basically saw the recipe for a ham and cheese omelette and then just like a load of salad on the side hence why I picked up that salad bag I then obviously also got some cheese. I'm a massive cheese fan, so to be honest, I just went for the cheese that I wanted to have. I didn't really care about the calories on that because like I said, I'm still gonna eat the things I wanna eat. So I got some grated red Leicester. To be honest, I normally get a block, but for the plans I have for the cheese, it was just easy to get the grated one. I then got some rigatoni pasta because I'm definitely still having carbs, <laughs> um, but I'm just gonna, again, try and control it. So to go with that, I got this sun-dried tomato and grilled aubergine sauce. I do normally get the tomato and mascarpone sauce, but every little traffic light on that was red. Whether it's, if you can see on that one, it's got three greens and an orange. Um, so I thought, to be honest, it's the mascarpone that makes the sauce bad. But I can just add like a sprinkle of my own cheese rather than getting like a sauce that has it layered in. Then I quickly got some oat milk. I got some more wipes because I think I mentioned I wanted to get some of those and they had them in Sainsbury's just for a pound so I thought why not got some ham again for the omelettes I then also got some Trek protein flapjacks now I can't lie calorie wise these are actually quite high calories but I want to have these for breakfast so to be honest they're only 227 calories but like that's my entire breakfast and I'm planning to have these like when I go to work so kind of when I get to the office I can just have one of these and then I've got my water with me until lunchtime so, and I think because they're high in protein and obviously I'm going to start going to the gym a lot more, it might just help with my sort of bodily functions and like <laughs> muscle growth, I guess, I'm, even though I'm not trying to get jacked or anything, but yeah. And then, sorry, I feel like this food haul is going on forever, but I kind of wanted to explain everything that I got. I then got some of these yogurts, again, as like a sweet treat in the evenings, or if I just wanted like a little snack. These are 52 calories per pot, so I got eight of them because they were actually on offer and they've got quite a long date, which is the good thing about yogurts. I then got some rice because I'm really enjoying the like salmon rice, almost, almost Emily Mariko style, but I don't do the whole like crush the salmon and add all the extra stuff. I just have literally rice, which I mix with the teriyaki sauce, um, with salmon on the side and some broccoli. And so here's the teriyaki sauce that I usually get. It's just the stir fry sauce from Blue Dragon, like the normal like Chinese oriental brand. Um, but the sticky teriyaki that they do is amazing. So I bought two packets of those, but they normally last me, like one will last me three rounds of rice because you get so much sauce. And obviously I don't, 
I'm not making a full stir fry, so I don't need to use it all. Finally, I just got some small tins of beans. Um, I, can't, I don't know if people know this about me, but I actually really love beans. Like at uni, sometimes I would just eat cold beans out of the tin. Um, feel free to judge me for that, because I know that is quite a controversial thing to do, but I genuinely love beans. So I just got two small tins. I'm thinking like over the weekend, uh, I wanna still have like quite nice breakfast because breakfast foods are one of my favorite foods. So I got some meat-free sausages because I really, really like these. I actually wanted to get the meat-free bacon that Richmond have just bought out because I tried that last weekend before I came back to London and it was unreal. Like it literally tasted meaty and it had like the smoky taste of bacon, but it's obviously higher in protein and not as bad for you. So I got these meat-free sausages because they didn't actually have the bacon. So I'd probably have like two of them, some beans, and then like maybe some scrambled egg on the side, or I do have like avocado, which I could have with an omelet. So yeah, that was basically my mini food haul. Um, just thought I would quickly show you guys what I got, but the plan now is to just put all this away, and as I say, I have a call at two. So I'm gonna stop talking because I feel like I've been talking forever, and I will speak to you guys in a bit. So please excuse how bad the lighting is right now and also sorry that all the content today has basically just been me stood in this kitchen sorry if you can hear that that's i'm watching chicago fire while i'm working well while i was working i finished working now and i've just actually been setting up the coffee machine that's why i switched you guys on because i thought i would show you so it's actually smaller than what i thought it was gonna be wait let me just turn that down because i feel like it's really loud sorry about that um so yeah i feel like it's smaller than what I thought it was gonna be because the box looked quite big, but actually it's the perfect size and like where I've put it, I think it looks good there. I mean, you guys might tell me differently. This light is really orange, I'm so sorry, but it's starting to get dark and I've had to put the lights on in here and we only have basically spotlights. And for anyone that does content or knows about lighting, overhead lighting is just not the one. So yeah. Very orange right now, but I thought I would quickly show you where I've put the coffee machine. So it's actually living here. So like I said, you guys might agree with me, it's smaller than what I thought it was gonna be. Um, so I've just popped it basically on the microwave. I did put it over there where I originally said like where the toaster and kettle was, but it just looks a bit odd. Especially because the toaster and kettle are so big and like bulky and because they've got such a unique design, I didn't really think it went. Whereas these have got like a similar vibe, so I feel like they go here. And I've just done like the test run, you have to do a test run to like run it clear. So I've just popped the water in here, which is really handy actually because the way it's positioned, it's so easy to get to. And then you literally just pop the cup on here, put the pod in here on this little rack, close it down. And then as you close it, this light is like yellow, which means it's ready to go. You press the light and then your drink comes out there and you're ready to go. So. Yeah, I'm really impressed with that actually. I think, like I said, it's smaller than what I thought it was gonna be, but actually perfect for what I want it to be. And Alyssia doesn't drink hot drinks anyway, so it'll only be me that's using it. So yeah, I'm really pleased with it. I think what I'm gonna do is for this little spot here, I'm gonna get one of those like pod racks that you can get and then keep all of my pods like next to it. So then it's like a little coffee station here or maybe even on top of the microwave there, I can move that vase. Honestly, this vase has been here for so long. I actually got it from Primark a while ago. It was it's five pounds and to be honest I've never put anything in it so it just lives there for now um kind of the same as this bowl this bowl never really gets used for anything it just sits there and then sometimes like, if we have people around we'll put like snacks in it or we've made jelly in it before like these just random little pieces that are always here but anyway yeah random interlude I just thought I would quickly show you the coffee machine all set up maybe tomorrow morning oh no I don't have any pods but as soon as I get some pods I will include some content of me making a coffee so you guys can see how it fully works but yeah I'm really impressed with how that actually all turned out so the plan for the rest of the day is not a lot sorry you guys are a bit tilted um that's really annoying me like I said this morning, gym in a minute because I really need to just get on with it and do it. If I think about it for too long, I'll talk myself out of it. And then dinner tonight. So I've got two options. I've either got salmon, rice, broccoli again, which I'm kind of leaning towards. Although I did buy that rigatoni to receive and that new sauce. And I'm thinking Friday night, treat myself to a bit of pasta rather than like having salmon and rice, which is something I'd eat in the week anyway, and maybe save that for Sunday. 
So we'll see what I end up having. I mean, this is the, <laughs> the highlight of my life today is deciding what I'm gonna have for dinner. So yeah, maybe I'll show you guys what I end up having. So yeah, that is basically it. Like I said, sorry that the content's basically just all been in the kitchen today. When I'm working, like that is the reality of my life. And I wanted to do this vlog to show you guys a realistic week in my life. So yeah, that is that. But I'm gonna stop rambling and drag myself down to the gym. Hey guys, happy Saturday. So I basically haven't vlogged for the entirety of Saturday because can't lie, I spent this morning editing this video and obviously if you're watching it and you've made it to this point, you will know we are 45 minutes long. And to be honest, I thought if it was any longer, it's basically a mini movie of my week. And if you guys are committing that time to watching me, then obviously I appreciate you, but also I know you guys have got other shit to do. So like sitting here and watching me for nearly an hour is just not a vibe. But a quick rundown of today, I literally didn't do a lot. I had a lie in because I was exhausted after this week. I feel like the week's been very full on, especially going from like being at home, not doing that much other than working to then being in London, having to food shop and all of that. I know, cry me a river, but yeah. So I feel like I was just really tired this morning. So I gave myself a lie in. I then got up, made myself some breakfast. Well, first I had like an axe melon and orange this morning. Then after like an hour of having that, I made myself an omelet just like a ham and cheese omelet like I said I was gonna make and then for like a late lunch I just had one of my protein bagels with a packet of the hula hoops that I got yesterday as well because I'm actually going out for dinner today so I did mention that I was going to see friends we were originally going to one of my other friends house and like they were gonna cook for us but basically she's feeling hungover so we're not going there but we're going to one of my other friends instead now so same plan just a different place um, it's currently about five o'clock so I actually need to head now because it takes me about an hour and a half to get there which in london is just so normal but when you actually sit and think about the fact that you're going to travel an hour and a half to get to someone's house it's a little bit crazy but anyway that is how long it's going to take me actually i think it's more of an hour but there's delays so i think that's why it's an hour and a half so on a good day it's about an hour but anyway i'm rambling again so i just thought i would update you and to be honest i don't think i'm going to film while i'm there just because obviously we're going to a house and i'm not going to be in her house filming everything because that's just not really a vibe so i'm probably going to end this video here like i said it's a very long video so if you've made it to this point then thank you for watching and staying with me um i have really enjoyed vlogging and i think i'm going to vlog again very soon if not even next week maybe but i need to think about kind of what's going on and if it's even going to be interesting to watch but if you have enjoyed this video, then please do give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below if you actually did enjoy seeing a vlog in my life. Like I said, I'm very nosy, so I like seeing what's going on in other people's lives, but you might not be interested in what's going on in mine. So do let me know, honestly, in the comments if you guys don't want to see any more vlogs, then I can stop vlogging. But I enjoy watching them, so that's why I wanted to put one on my channel. But if you did enjoy the video, then please do subscribe to my channel and then you will know when all of the rest of my videos go live, especially if you hit that bell for notifications. But yes, I hope you enjoyed this weekly vlog and all that's left to say is thank you so much for watching and I will see you all hopefully in my next video. Bye!